that according to the United Nations Human Development Report 2014, one third of the poorest of the poor people of the world live in India. And their number is 40 crores, which is in fact one third of our total population. And according to us, this scheme, Manrega, was a fillip to the poorest of the poor section of our country who are being deprived for centuries together. Now the way the government has taken some stringent measures to slash the allocation under Manrega to different states is a matter of serious concern. The Honorable Minister, in his reply, has stated that Manrega was initially implemented in 200 most backward districts and subsequently 130 districts were included. True. So my question is to the Honorable Minister is whether government has any plan to put the clock back and to reduce the number of districts from 330 to 200 only as reported in a section of the press. So number two, this government, the, uh, the Honorable Minister, has claimed that during the last eight years, around rupees 180,000 crores have been paid as wages to the workers. What is the figure during the past six months that the new government has taken over? How, how much money has been paid towards wages to the workers under Manrega? Number three, the Honorable Minister in his reply has stated <clears throat> that in 2013-14, the total allocation was 33,000 crores, and this year it is 34,000 crores. So 1,000 crores has been increased in this year's budget. And if we divide that rupees 1,000 crores among 29 <clears throat> states and seven union territories, then it comes to, if it is well distributed, then on an average, it will come to 27, 28 crores to each state. And what is the end result? Instead of raising the quantum of the allocation, this government has slashed the allocation in a manner that in my state, in West Bengal, <coughs> the allocation, which was 2,214 mm -hmm. crore in the last financial year, that is 2013-14, it has come down to 1,782 crore, sir. And my Chief Minister, the Honorable Chief Minister of West Bengal, Simati Mamta Banerjee, she was the first among the Chief Ministers of the country to write a letter to the government deprecating this attitude, uh, this stand of the government, which has reduced the allocation of the fund. Sir, in 2012-13, West Bengal achieved total mandates of 20 crores, which is 109% higher than the national average. And in 2013-14, the state again exceeded the targets, even though the allocation has been slashed. This government has put an economic blockade to West Bengal, particularly to the poorest of the poor. And it is not only unique in West Bengal, this is equally true in cases of Karnataka, in cases of Rajasthan, in cases of Bihar, in cases of <coughs> Orisha, and many other states. Sir, I would like to point out that according to the daily updated information system maintained by the Ministry of Rural Development, over 10.6 crore households had applied for work till November 25 this year, so till 25 November. Uh, we are on 27 November discussing this. Till 25th November, 8.3 crore. <coughs> over 10.8 crore households had applied and work has been provided to only 8.3 crore, leaving 2.8 crore households without work. And in the previous year, during the same period, work was provided to 9.8 crore households out of 10.9 crore households who demanded it. So this is the difference that the new government has taken. <laughs> Sir, I am, I am referring to one particular district of Gujarat, from where our honorable prime minister held the, in the tribal dominated district of Arabali in Gujarat, the job guarantee scheme, 
never really got off. वहाँ काम शुरू ही नहीं हुआ मुझे सरकार से आर्जी है सरकार से प्रार्थना है क्या हो रहा है आप मनरेगा को बंद करना चाहते हैं मनरेगा पैसा कहाँ देना चाहते हैं वो क्रोनी कैपिटलिस्ट को लूटने के लिए ये क्रोनी कैपिटलिस्ट को लूटने के लिए हमारे मजदूर हमारे गांव के किसान हमारे गांव की आम जनता इनको पैसा नहीं मिलेगा पैसा मिलेगा वो क्रोनी कैपिटलिस्ट को सर वन लाइन मोड वन लाइन मोड What Mr. Jairam Ramesh has raised the 62 this the change in the labour to material ratio. This is very important. The government is proposing this government for a reduction in the labour to material ratio from 60-40 to 51-49. This will this change will dilute the employment objective of the scheme without increasing productivity. So okay. the entire productivity agriculture yes, productivity. Will come to a grinding halt. So I appeal to the government to reconsider and review its stand and try to enhance more allocation for under Manrega. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr.